one of Malaysia's most popular and well-loved breakfast dishes, something called roti chanai. That's a flaky flatbread that's served with a lentil dip. I'm going to show you how to make the dip, but we'll have a bit of fun as well, and I'll show you how to flip the roti. The main ingredient that goes into this lentil dip is a tor dal, okay? This is what it looks like dry, and this is what it looks like after it's soaked for about four hours, and this is what you want to use, okay? And then you're going to throw it in the pot with all these other ingredients. I've got fenugreek, garlic, turmeric, tamarind, mustard seeds, asfatida, which is a little bit unusual, some cumin, vegetarian seasoning, some curry leaves, and chilies. They're going to simmer in the pot with some water for about 45 minutes and then you're going to add potatoes, tomatoes and fried shallots. Okay, so now this has been simmering for about 45 minutes. Next thing to go in are potatoes, tomatoes and fried shallots. Now we're going to move on to the roti dough. With the dough, the recipe is very simple, it's up on the screen. Throw it all into a dough mixer, 15 minutes, and then this is what you're going to get. I'm going to divide this into eight equal portions, uh, boil them up, and then grease them with some ghee. And then we'll let them rest for eight hours. Now for the fun part, we're going to flip the roti. What you want to do is just flatten it with the palm of your hands, right? And then you're going to have one hand on, on top and one on the bottom, and you're going to make a figure eight with your right hand. Okay, let's go. Just like that. And then just keep moving your hand along the perimeter of the dough and just keep flipping till you get it nice and thin. And if the whole flipping thing escapes you, right, you can in fact just gently stretch it across your bench and you can pretty much get the same result. It looks a lot more impressive when you're flipping, of course dribble some more ghee in the middle. Just be very generous with the ghee. Try and get the edges super, super thin. And then you just want to fold this up in the middle, like that. You're going to cook this for about four minutes and you'll have your beautiful roti chanai at the end of it. Okay, now this has been cooking about four minutes on both sides, ready to go. I'm just going to put it on the bench, clap it quickly with the palm of my hands and Serve it with my dal dip. How good does that look? Now, roti chanai is perfect with a dal dip and a hot pulled tea, what we call teh tarik, or just a classic flat white. Until next time, as we would say in Malaysia, selamat makan or happy eating.